Thanks for, the <clears throat> Sorry. Thanks for the opportunity to talk with you. Um, it was a very eloquent story, thank you. Um, you know, I've run for more than 25 years um, recreationally. Um, ran down Scottsdale the last 14 years, nice little loop. Um, and I always thought that, uh, that those that got attacked or bitten by dogs were foolish or not paying attention or mean throwing rocks or something at a dog. Um, five weeks ago, I had the uh, unfortunate uh, experience that running down Scottsdale as usual, you know, paying attention, you know, I've, you, I've encountered lots of dogs, some of them off leash, give them wide berth, I'm attentive, come down, I see ahead of me a dog playing with kids in a driveway off, off the side, you know, there's no growling, no bark, no, nothing, so I, I go to run by and next thing I know there's this dog on me. And I get offended when people say I got bitten by a dog because I got, got attacked by a dog. Every time that I, the dog came up on me, it was right there, I'd throw it down and it was one solid muscle, just sprang right back at me. It got me in the arm with a bite and then got me in the inside of the leg with its claws, bruised my, my calf bad enough that it, it wasn't, uh, five weeks later it finally isn't sore when I run, got me in the, the backside. Um, this wasn't just a bite, it kept coming, kept coming. I couldn't figure why it stopped. But there were two adult painters on the outside of the house, two doors down, and it turned out it was them that were running with a stick at it, and it finally thought two grown men uh, were, were too much for it. And it, and it. But it didn't just bite and leave, it attacked. Um, my eight-year-old daughter was supposed to be riding her bike with me. Um, and, you know, thank goodness she said, Daddy, I don't feel like it today, and she wasn't there. Uh, traumatizing, if she had seen me attacked, even worse, how fast could have I gotten to her? The one painter, when he was talking to the police, said something to the effect, he was very animated about it. Uh, he said something like, man, he's so lucky, you know, he was a goner if he had gone down the first time. It went at him four times and, and finally uh, uh, we, we got it chased away. So this isn't, you know, simply an attack. There was no growl, no bite, no bark, I mean, no bark, there was a bite but there was no bark, nothing. There was no signs, signals, it just attacked. Um, you know, the, uh, the magnificent things that, that people, about this breed is that it's muscular, it's beautiful, you know, but what it's been bred for in terms of the beauty of the muscles make it dangerous. If I weaponize a gerbil, for instance, and I weaponize a lion, you know, it, it's not the same thing. A chihuahua that comes and nips me, I have a fighting chance against something that's pure muscle, I have, have much less of a chance. Fortunately, I wasn't a seven-year-old woman. I wasn't my eight-year-old daughter. I was a grown man who could fight it off and with the help of two, two painters. So, you know, I, I, I don't want to wait for, for a dog to be declared vicious for an attack the first time, because the first time could be, be too much. I don't care how much insurance somebody has because I want to feel safe in our streets. And so I agree that, uh, that we, we do need safe places. And I laud the, uh, the council for thinking about being proactive and understanding that all dogs are not equal in the kind of damage that they can do. So thank you. Okay, thank you.